What's up, Blue Miami? We are here at Park PT with my boy, Dr. Alex Gonzalez. Doc, thank you for having us. Thank you so much for thank coming. Thank you for letting me. me come into your dojo. I appreciate it. And you letting coming. me show this gem off. here in, in, in the heart, really right next to Coconut Grove. We're just outside of it on 27th Avenue in US 1. Yep. And we're here because my back's a little tweaked and I need my buddy to, to, to tweak me up. You know, I had a car accident. I got rear-ended at the end of December. And, uh, you know, sometimes uh, doing all the rucking we do, yeah. you know, yeah. throws a, a few things off. So I'm here. Doc, talk to me. What, what do I got to do? All right. So let's see. Tight back, huh? Lower back. I get that. I get that a lot in here. So the the first thing that I do when when somebody comes in with back pain is I check their mobility. Okay. In their spine, and I usually have them do that in standing. All right. You want so to stand you can up? go ahead and stand up. Yeah. And I basically have people do all the major movements that the spine does, which is some flexion. So I would have you try to touch your toes. There you go. And I see that there, he's pretty limited right there. We see his knees start to bend a little bit. That usually means that that's a limitation. Do it one more time for me. And when I do that, I'll be looking to see how his spine is looking here. Is it still caved in? Is it rounding? That can be a, a sign of tightness. His caves in a little bit. So we do see that there's a little bit of tightness in there, which would kind of like correlate with what he was saying. Then I would have him rotate. Have him rotate into one direction as much as he can. Good. And the other direction. Good. I would stand behind him so I could see the angle. Go ahead, do it again. And then the other way. And usually one side can rotate more. So you see that left side, you were able to go a little bit more. Yeah. Right? Yeah, definitely this way. Exactly. So that usually means that there's a restriction. We already see a restriction into rotation. We see a restriction into flexion. But still, right? my golf swing, I swing this way. So I, and it's a good thing uh, I can clear it this way. Yeah, exactly. That's a good follow through. You need that, especially. That is another thing that we get into is like, what are your activities, right? So if you play golf, we know that you're going to be rotating this way a lot. Yeah. Forcefully, so we would actually want to balance that and have you rotate this way. Okay. Both into range of motion and into strength as well. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and have you lay down now. Face up or face back? Face up. Face up. And then one of the main culprits or one of the main causes for back pain, believe it or not, is tight hamstrings. And when, we, he, when he reached down, we saw that he was a little bit tight. And there, you can yeah. already hear uh, it <laughs> yeah. and kind of see it. Yep. We would like for that leg to get up to 90 degrees, which is around here, without feeling that much tension, ideally. Ideally. So loosening those guys up will mm -hmm. definitely take pressure off your back. And then I would go into testing the hips. Hips are pretty loose. Those hips don't lie. No, hips don't lie. No, they don't. I can still move. <laughs> still got it. <laughs> and then I would compare it over to the other side. It's about the same. And I see him kind of pick up there. That's a sign that he's... Yep. Yep. Hey, we're already reaching the limit. That's there. about as far as we go. Yeah, hips are nice and mobile in this direction. Right. And then we would go into doing more like strength uh, tests. So we would test the strength of his hips, his hip abductors, which we would do like this here. He would kind of try to open his legs like that. Now he would prevent me from closing them. Right. And let's do it one more time. So you see, I'm able to close his legs pretty easily. Vic's a big boy. He should be able to uh, to resist me pretty good. So if those glutes are not as strong as they should be, they're gonna require the back to be working. Yeah, hundred percent. So the other day after my long night out, like you were <laughs> my little, right here, I was feeling it right here on my hips. Exactly. And lower back. It's this. Yep. And those two are very much correlated. So usually people that are having recurring or chronic back pain are gonna present with some type of weakness in their hips. So easy ways that we can address. Uh, some of the limitations that we found, stretch the hamstrings, mobilize the spine, both through exercise and then I can help with some manual manipulations of his spine. You were limited into right rotation, yeah. so that's the rotation that we want to do. Okay. So let's go ahead and flip you around. Yeah, just like that. Well, no, no, my bad, facing this way. And, and <laughs> if you've ever been to a physical therapy session, one of the funnest parts about it is getting people on the table and telling them to flip onto the left side and then they do to the right and then you're like, no, no, your other left. And they're like, oh, God. 
And it even happens to us when we become patients too, when we go get work done. So it's just one of the funny things. So we're gonna get him on the side. This is called a lumbar roll mobilization. Come towards me a little bit more. He's gonna feel like he's almost about to fall off, but I got his back. Your arms will go like this. We'll bring him over like that here. And you haven't had like any surgeries of the spine or anything nope. like that, right? No. Nope. Right. And then we'll kind of have him put this arm right here like that. Nice one like that. All right. Good. And then I'm gonna try to see if we can get a little adjustment out of it. Nice deep breath. And let it out. And we got a nice little crack there. Nice. Huh? Very that good. was a nice one. That was good. All right, now what we can do to see if that did really address the, the limitation and rotation is you will go ahead and stand up. And then we would see if he's able to rotate a little more to the right versus to the left. One more time to the right. Looks pretty even yeah. to me, bro. Yeah, that was better. Feels better, right? Yeah, for sure. Ooh. That's a little example of what it's like to get your back worked on. That's awesome. And we would do other stuff too yeah. in the session, but this was just like a little quick. All right, so I have one question for you. What makes Park PT different than any other PT here in Miami? Okay, that's a good question. Um, I would say that what makes us different is the attention to each individual client that we, that we get. So everybody gets individualized care, and it's also the vibe that we kind of curated in here, you know, relaxing, the type of place that you go to to heal, to relax, and to feel good. I, I definitely feel that right when you get in. I know Cindy has a little bit to do with that, or a lot of it to do with that, actually. That. Most uh, of it to do with you that. You walk right in, you see all the plants, <laughs> everything's got a lot of life to it, it's very green. And at my house, we everything everything dies. Every plant I bring I bring home dies. So uh, I, it's really a nice, a nice treat to see, and, and I know how warm you guys are, because if people recognize them, they're the founders of the Rug Club. Yeah. You can check out our Rug video. I'm gonna tag it down below. I'm also gonna tag Park PT's information down below. If you guys are looking to have any type of care after, whether it's after a surgery, yeah. uh, if you're an athlete and you had an injury, mm -hmm. or you're just, you know, needing some, you know, some help with some, some problem area, yeah. don't hesitate to reach out to this guy. He really is one of the best. We recommend our personal injury clients as well who have accidents to him. So please don't hesitate to give him a call.